Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you can use the Format Painter in a variety of Microsoft Office products. And today I'm going to show you Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but it's not just limited to those three. You could also use it in OneNote, in Outlook, and a whole host of non-Microsoft apps and products as well. So first off, what is the Format Painter? Well, if you've ever used any Microsoft Office product before, you've probably noticed this icon right there. That's the Format Painter. So what can you do with the Format Painter? Well, let's say that you're maybe writing a Word document and you have some text that you put a bit of time into formatting. So maybe you've applied bolding, you've set a certain font color, uh, maybe you've adjusted the font size, and you want to take all of that formatting that you did and you want to apply it elsewhere. Well, you could just manually go ahead and redo it in all the other places where you want to apply that formatting, or you could use the Format Painter to simply copy that formatting and then paste it on all the other instances where you want that format to appear. The Format Painter not only works with text, it also works with images, and I'll show you examples of how it works in all those different places. The easiest way to think of the Format Painter is it's like copy and paste, but for formatting. All right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can use the Format Painter. Here I am on my PC and we are going to start in Microsoft PowerPoint, then we'll jump into Excel and we'll finish off with Word. Like I mentioned in the introduction though, the Format Painter appears in many other products as well. So if you learn how to use it here, you'll also be able to use it elsewhere. So here in PowerPoint, this is the latest and greatest version of Microsoft PowerPoint that comes with Microsoft 365. Even if you're using an older version, Format Painter has been around for a while, so you should be able to follow along. Here on the slide, I have two photos of myself, and right now I haven't done any special formatting to these photos, and I think I can make them look better. Perhaps I could add a frame and maybe a shadow on these photos. So to do that, I'm gonna start with the photo on the left of me diving. I'm gonna click on that, the photo is now selected, and up here, I'm gonna click on the picture format tab. So let me click on that, and maybe I could add a border to this photo. So I could go through, look at the different borders. I kind of like this second one. It's a little bit of a thicker border. Let me click on that. I also want to apply a shadow to this photo. So I'm going to click on picture effects over here, and then I'll scroll down to shadow. And I like this outer center shadow. I think that looks good. And the picture already looks a lot better. Now with the photo on the right, I haven't yet done any formatting to this picture. Let's say that I wanted to apply the same formatting that I have on the picture uh, on the left to the picture on the right. Well, I could go through up here and I could apply the border. I could also go to picture effects and apply the same shadow, but that's gonna require many, many manual steps. To simplify my life, what I can do is use the Format Painter. To use the Format Painter, what I wanna do is, first off, I wanna click on the photo that I wanna copy the format from. And so this picture already has my border, it has my shadow, so I want this format. Once I select the photo, what I need to do next is over here on the top bar, I'm gonna click on the Home Pivot or the Home tab. And now that I have an item selected on the slide, I have the option to click on the Format Painter. When I hover over the Format Painter, I also see some instructions that tell me how to use it. But you're watching a video today, so I'll just show you how to use it and you don't have to read that text. So let's click on the Format Painter now. And I'm gonna go over, and one thing you'll see is my mouse icon. Not only do I have my cursor, but I now also have a paintbrush that appears alongside it. The way to think of it is I just copied this formatting, and now I'm gonna paint it over this photo. So now if I click on this photo, you'll see the same border, the same shadow. All the formatting that I applied to the picture on the left now applies to the picture on the right. So I don't have to go through all those manual steps of recreating the format. Instead, I can copy and paste the formatting. Now, not only can you use the Format Painter in Microsoft PowerPoint with graphics, I'm gonna jump into Microsoft Excel and show you how you could use the Format Painter here 
as well. And here under the Home tab, once again, you see this Format Painter here in the top left-hand corner. Now here in the spreadsheet, I have cell A1 where I've applied some formatting. I've applied a yellow background, I've also adjusted the size of the text, and I've also applied a border around the cell. And once again, I could go ahead and I could redo it, but that takes a lot of work. Instead, I'm gonna use the Format Painter. So let me click in cell A1, click on Format Painter, and you'll see that this little moving line appears around it, and I can now click into C1 to apply the format. But let's say I also wanted to apply it to cells C5, C7, and C9. Do I have to go through each time, click Format Painter, and keep applying it? No, I don't have to. There's an easier way. That's why I led, I led with that question. So what I can do is I'll click on cell A1, and if I go to the Format Painter and I double click on it, what that'll do is it turns on the Format Painter and it'll only turn off when I tell it to. So now what I could do is I'll click on cell C5, I'll click on C7, and I'll click on C9. So the Format Painter stays active until I turn it off, and to turn it off, I simply press the Escape key. So when I press Escape, that now turns off the Format Painter. So that's one way I could apply formatting to many items all at once. Next, we're gonna jump into Microsoft Word and I'll show you how to use the Format Painter here. Here's a little short story that I wrote up many years ago. I never really did much with it, but now it's being useful for the Format Painter tutorial. So here in Word 2, just like in Excel and PowerPoint, what I could do is let me apply some formatting, I'll adjust the size, let me choose a color, maybe I apply underline, and once again, I could simply highlight that text click on the Format Painter to copy the formatting, and then let me go down to the next header, and I'll apply the same formatting there as well. Now formatting isn't just limited to things like color or fonts or the size or the font, but what I can also do is it also copies the paragraph formatting. So here you see that I have uh, two line spacing here, uh, versus here I just have one line spacing. So what I could do is I could simply click on this paragraph, click on the Format Painter, and then I'll click on this paragraph, and that applies the same spacing. And once again, if I double click on the Format Painter, I could click on this paragraph, I could click on this paragraph, so I could continue pasting the formatting on all these different paragraphs. What I also wanna show you is shortcut keys that you can use to initiate the Format Painter. So you don't always have to go up to this button and click on the Format Painter. Instead, you could use shortcut keys. So here you see Control, Shift, and C will copy a format. So here I'm gonna copy this text, and I'm gonna press Control, Shift, C. So it's very similar to Control, C to copy, but you throw in Shift. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight this text down below, and we're gonna press Control, Shift, and V to paste the format. So it's just like Control V that you typically use to paste, but once again, you insert a shift in there. Now this shortcut key will work in both Word and PowerPoint, but it doesn't work in Excel. In Excel, there's another shortcut key that you could use, and it's Alt, H, F, and P. Now you might think to yourself, how am I ever going to remember that shortcut key, Alt, H, F, P? That seems really complicated, and it's not that intuitive. Well, let me show you how you can remember it. Now the first thing that we're gonna do is press the Alt key. And when you press the Alt key, you see all these other letters appear within Word. This way you could apply your, you could choose different options within the ribbon just using your keyboard. And you'll see that to get to the Home tab, you press H. That's the second part of the shortcut key, Alt and H. So I'm gonna press on H. Then you have Format Painter. It starts with an F, the first word. The second word starts with a P, so FP. That's the shortcut. So if I press FP, then it'll select the Format Painter. And one, another easy way to remember too is as you press the keys, you always get those little hints or the reminders of what the keys are. So that's also just an easy way to use the Format Painter. All right, well that's how you could use the Format Painter to copy and paste a format. If you learned how to use the Format Painter, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Bye.